All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. I never thought I would see the day, and what a spectacle it is, as the former two-time heavyweight boxing champion, the king of the gypsies, Tyson Fury, is about to test his game on the ultimate platform. You know the magnitude of the moment's not gonna be too big for him. The Deontay Wilder fight was the crowning jewel for him in terms of rising to the occasion. But what's gonna happen when somebody shoots at his legs? We'll find out here in a moment. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who you first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Tyson Fury. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, oh, huge right hand! Control. 
All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Left hand punch to punch. Nice punch by Ford. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Back mount now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transit. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. You gotta be careful, arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And you gotta cover, you can't be off to an angle. And there it is! Oh! What a performance! Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, he stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an 